Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, November 13th, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across. World capital that wasn't built in a day. Rome wasn't built in a day. Let's see if we can build down through Rome. Spice holder. That should be a rack. Muscat's land. That's a city in Oman. 1996's Dancing Baby might have been the first one to go viral. That was a very early viral meme. Cost. Hmm, what do we have on the across here? Visa competitor in brief. That's Amex, so I guess this is an expense. Yeah. What do we have on this grid spanner here? This is probably a theme answer. I will never raise your taxes. And this is an italic, so it's definitely a theme answer. This sounds like a campaign promise. Nice, okay. Prepares to propose, perhaps. That's an occasion where you kneel. So this is gonna be kneels. Thanks a lot. Absence noted in vape pen ads. Is this no tar again? We also saw this just a few days ago. Interesting. Jennifer of Friends. Okay, we get to see Jennifer Aniston again too. All right. Ain't too proud to beg. Temptations hit. Prohibit. That's gotta be ban. What do we have on these acrosses here? Dancing Queen Band. Yeah, that's ABBA. And kind of tied. That's neap tied. That's when the difference between high and low tide is the smallest. Okay. TikTok and Instagram for two. Those would be two apps. Not worth a... Ooh, this is tricky. This is not worth a sou. That's an old French coin that wasn't worth very much. Lion sounds. Okay, that's roars. Excite. Hmm. Excite. What do we have here? Right away. And these quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase. I guess a good equivalent here would be ASAP. Yeah. So this looks like it's going to be a rouse. Yeah. C22 across. With 10 down, humorous film about love. That would be a rom-com. Okay. Two pays, e.g. Two pays would be examples of hair pieces. It has to be pieces plural because the clue asked for two pays plural. Canadian gas brand. That is Esso. Part of a rose or a glass of rosé. This is a fun cheeky clue. Those would both have a stem. So this is aches, throbs as sore muscles. That's right. And roast, insult comics event. Yeah, that's definitely right too. Key of Beethoven Symphony Number no. 7. Well, I don't know this off the top of my head, but it has to be a major or a minor, so we can put some letters in here. Okay, comments. This should be remarks, right? Oh, we could put an O in here too. All right, let's see what this next theme answer is. This product changed my life, five stars. Okay, that definitely sounds like a review. Maybe it's a customer review, yeah. Okay, what does a campaign promise and a customer review have in common? Hmm, they both start with C. Blank Kramer, Jerry's neighbor on Seinfeld. That was Cosmo Kramer. Yeah, them learning his first name was the basis of an entire episode. Exceptionally. Hmm, we're gonna need a little bit more help here. Word after dial or muscle. That should be dial tone, muscle tone. 
exit key, that's the escape key on the keyboard, many in engineers field informally. I guess this could be tech, yeah. Let's go already, another equivalent phrase. Come on. Okay, so can we get this now? Exceptionally. Hmm, I'm still not sure what this should be. The matrix role for Keanu Reeves. That was Neo. Let's see if we can fill out this center area. When repeated, identifies those responsible. I guess someone names names? Yeah, so that means this has to be a major. UK sports car informally. Yeah, that would be a Jag, a Jaguar. Sprouted anew. That has to be regrew in the past tense. Okay. Actor Peter of M and the man who knew too much. That's Peter Lorre. Yeah, he's a classic actor. The last sound in Keanu, e.g. That's kind of funny. I guess that would be a long U sound. Word after full, new, or harvest. Full moon, new moon, harvest moon. Yeah. Okay, so... Exceptionally. Huh. What do we have here? The dog ate it. <laughs> okay. I guess that would be a homework excuse. Yeah. So... What do these have in common? Hmm. Homework excuse, customer review, campaign promise. I don't know. The A of GPA, abbreviated. That's grade point average. Pretty woman actor Richard. That was Richard Gear. Clear of chalk, say. I guess we're gonna erase the blackboard. Boo hooed. That should be wept. So this is cap, upper limit, that's right. Take a break, that's gotta be rest. Trample. I want this to be run over. Pilates target. That's an exercise that targets your core. Become dizzy with rapture. That is a swoon. So what do we have here? Rare things from far away. I think you would call this exotica. Yeah, that's kind of a rare word, appropriately. Social media menaces. Those are trolls. Mercy Corps EG for short. I think this is going to be a non-governmental organization. Claimed victory homophonically. Homophonically. So we have one. Is this a homophone of something else? I'm not sure exactly what they're asking for here. Exceptionally. Oh, is this uncommonly? Oh man, that was hard to see. Okay. Slow-mo replay. Surgery souvenir, maybe. You might have a scar. Whip. That would be a lash, yeah. Lion in the Chronicles of Narnia. That's Aslan. No rhyme or reason. Sweet potato. That would be a yam. So is this just one one? <laughs> yeah, it's a phrase made of two homophones. Okay. Let's take a look at our last grid spanner here. It looks like this is a revealer. Isn't that mind-blowing? Or a question one might ask about the answers to the italicized clues. Oh, this should be, can you believe it? <laughs> so these are all things that people might have trouble believing. A campaign promise, a customer review, and a homework excuse. That's pretty funny. Three almost unbelievable statements. Okay. Follow as orders. That should be obey. Org concerned with emissions. 
And because we have an abbreviation in our clue, our answer needs to be abbreviated. So this will be the Environmental Protection Agency. Tupperware top, that's a lid. So we have Epic, Story of Heroes, and Yada, when tripled, you get the idea. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, that's more Seinfeld, isn't it? That's funny. Oscar winner Jared, that's Jared Leto. Talk like Sylvester the Cat. He had a very pronounced lisp. Eye ailment, that's gonna be a sty. So we have Etsy, craft seller site, and this should be a rope. What's tugged in a tug of war? Yeah, that sounds good. All right, let's throw this E in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Monday puzzle in 17 minutes. So today's theme is things people say that might make you ask, can you believe it? We have, I will never raise your taxes as a campaign promise. This product changed my life, five stars, a customer review, and the dog ate it, a very flimsy homework excuse. Yeah, this is a pretty fun collection of phrases. We also had a little bit of uncommon vocab today that kept up the challenge. There was Exotica and Sue. Yeah, that one's pretty rare. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed solving that unbelievable Monday puzzle with me. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday solve, and I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.